Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth on Kate's computer. We're gonna generate an awesome streak for her today so that we can do something on co-op tomorrow, maybe. I'll probably just do like one run, but that's okay. <clears throat> Pardon me, we're gonna random. Don't random the lost. Okay, that was very close. I guess we're gonna do our second Isaac run in a row. Um, which I would apologize for, except I didn't have any control over it. PVV4S8MW. I'm also gonna lower that music just by one. And if you find that too quiet, you let me know, but keep in mind I will not be able to change it on the fly here. And you know what? You don't need to sweat that, okay? You can just listen to the dulcet sounds of my voice. Follow the sound of my voice. Follow the sound of my voice. Your eyes are getting very, very heavy. You are going to put all your money in the trash can and then light it on fire and then throw it down the mountain as a sacrifice to me. Your demigod, Lothingo. That's, uh, I tried to come up with a god's name. It's surprisingly hard, you know? Come on, make up your own god right now, come up with a name. I bet it was probably similar to an existing god's name. I mean, even mine was kind of similar to like, uh, I don't know, like Loki or something like that. So, you know, it's not easy. You don't want to offend anybody with your, with your hypothetical god. Oh, 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 oh god naming. Um, that was a pretty good get there. Um... Yeah, I was just in a silly mood, I guess. I, I, uh, Kate and I were out for dinner, and I had some Vietnamese soup, also known as pho, 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 Kate, hi. Don't mind me. She's, she's spying on us to get all our corporate secrets about how to succeed in Isaac, oh god. Um, and, uh, I ate, uh, had some Vietnamese soup, like I said, and then there were, like, these chopped up, uh, little circles of, of chili pepper in them. You know, like a, like a circle that looks like it's from a jalapeno or something like that. And then I ate one because I was like, that's not that spicy. I've had spicier stuff than this. It was really spicy and I actually almost threw up in the restaurant bathroom. Uh, but, you know, that released endorphins. And now I'm super stoked to not be throwing up in a weird restaurant bathroom and have my mouth feel like it's on fire. And every time I take a sip of this hot soup, it's like burning a hole through the roof of my mouth. Um, gonna give me a deviated septum or something like that. Instead, uh... I'm sitting at home in the comfort of my own home playing the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Kate's making tea. It's a very casual, uh, nice time. Probably the stupidest dodge I've ever done amazingly. <laughs> there was absolutely no reason for me to attempt to do that dodge like that, but it worked. I hope it's not, uh, like, aggressively framey. Like, when as I'm playing it right now, it looks fine. But, uh, sometimes that, that doesn't translate to video. I, I don't know. I, it takes me a while to become 100% comfortable with the setup, and obviously we've been in kind of suboptimal conditions for a while here. I don't need to belabor that point. We've all been aware of it. But, uh, it, it's been around for so long, we're gonna do some merch themed around Mr. Green Man and my computer problems. Not the least of which, uh, reasons why is because maybe some merch sales will make up for the fact that I'll probably have to buy a brand new video card. But anyway, that's, again, neither here nor there. But seriously, maybe don't light your money on fire and then put it in the trash can and throw it down the gorge. Uh, instead, you could buy, a uh, something over at districtlines.com slash northern line, and then in one to four weeks when your shipment arrives, you'll be happy to be decked out in uh, body furniture that uh, will hide your shameful skin and organs from the world. That's the way I think of clothes, and that's the way I think you should think of clothes as well. Um, we'll fight Super Envy here. Is it too early to give up on Boss Rush? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we might be advised to just kind of give up the ghost on that one. It would be awesome maybe if we got... Shoop the whoop here, followed by uh, a reroll ability. Nope, that's okay as well. We still have an item room, and we've got the ability to reroll it. Well, let's put it this way: if it's good, we'll take it. If it's not good, we'll reroll it. If it's good after that, we'll take it, and then we'll have a full battery charge for the next floor. Or we can reroll it again because we did get a battery charge dropped. I'll do it. Tiny planet. Um, it's it's got some serious problems, especially considering that my rate of fire is not really that strong right now. It's uh, it's pretty bad. But, we're early enough in the game that there's plenty of time to come away from it, and there's lots of cool synergies. Fantastic. Lots of cool synergies with Tiny Planet that I'd be happy to check out. On the NLSS today, well, yeah, I guess it's still today, but it'll be yesterday for those of you watching tomorrow. As confusing as that sentence sounds, I do believe that it is actually the truth. Um, I, I got an Ipecac My Reflection run after rerolling an Isaac run with a D4, and uh, I rolled with it, and it was... Not at all easy, but we did finish it, and uh, I'm I'm all right with uh, the weirdness. This is like a two out of ten weird relative to that uh, Ipecac 
my reflection run. It, it got worse because I got rubber cement as well, but uh, worse or better, depending on your perspective. Well, the good thing about a crawl space is a free item, and if we get a black market, I can actually... It's a little bit of short-term thinking, but I can take two items without it affecting my survivability at all. Instead, we get the D20. I'll reroll the D20. It has become... I really thought I could jump over that haunt. Um, it's become Peeper's Eye. It's not great, but it's early enough in the floor that I probably can get another reroll. Biggest thing is going to be just keeping ourselves alive long enough to... Oh, right, there's another reroll right there, huh? Uh, keeping ourselves alive long enough to actually get through this floor could prove to be surprisingly difficult. I'm, I'm mostly not displeased about Tiny Planet. I'm a little displeased that my rate of fire is so shitty. But apart from that, I'm, uh, I'm pretty okay... I just need to, like, it's it's basically, like I said, that last Tiny Planet run we had. It's about, um, it's like using Ludovico technique. All we do is fire in a direction and and dodge. Dodging is the most important thing. And our, our speed stat is not necessarily knocking it out of the park. So we're a little bit uh, in, a, in a tough spot there. But uh, apart from that, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good here. Not necessarily loving... The fact that I can't hit these guys unless I get close. Maneuver... Ah, that's exactly what I was just about to say. Enemies with lots of maneuverability are going to be annoying. But like a... Just like a rainbow in the dark... Oh, that's worth it as well. We get a fantastic uh, lucky get uh, spirit heart from that poop. And that is going to keep me pretty much sustainable here as far as uh, survivability goes. Unless we royally fuck it up. Which is also possible. Let's not take this pill yet because I don't trust it. Any room that has complicated dodging like this is is real tough because we can't really even prioritize shooting the enemies that are rushing us down, and that's the the cardinal sin of Tiny Planet is that we can't choose which enemies we prioritize, and as a result, we find ourselves unable to prioritize the enemies that are either easiest for us to kill or most most likely to do damage to us. So it it, it makes it a little a little tough. Target selection is very difficult, but we're only fighting Monstro, and this should give us a very very good chance of getting a deal with the devil. All we need to do is not royally fuck it up. Blood Clot, certainly not the item that we really wanted on the last floor. Uh, almost anything that gave us an attribute upgrade might have been better. Even a speed upgrade, honestly. Uh, normally I love damage, but here we, we need a little bit faster rate of fire. Or we need our damage to be so high that, you know, firing so slowly doesn't matter. But mostly, I think with Tiny Planet, it's like a coverage problem. We need to have as many shots on the screen as possible. So a tears upgrade here would be huge to help benefit uh, the Blood Clot and make it even better. Instead, we get HP, which is also fine, and then we get no deal with the Devil Precedent and no guppy items. Followed by a health downgrade. Followed by explosive diarrhea. Followed by a tears upgrade. So, basically, we got no deal with the Devil Precedent and a tears upgrade. We'd have to consider this a negative. As much as I'd love to be like, hey, at least we got the tears upgrade we asked for. Nah, it's, it's all sorts of bunged up. We, we really did not want it to be like this, but uh, it is like this, so it's really how we react to it at this point. Sadly, um, I can't play that Blood Bank, and I would very much like to. But I am coming back here because I'd like to go to our Curse Room. And it is going to fuck up our precedent, but... I feel like it's something I've got to do in case there is a, a deal with the Devil item in here. Can't even push the bombs away, really. Ah, just spiders, alright. Uh, we will we will leave this floor. And it might seem a little surprising, but I'm still pretty confident in this run uh, as far as as far as my chances of success go. Tiny Planet has not really been benefited. Which is my way of saying that we have not really benefited from having Tiny Planet. But we did make ourselves a little stronger on that floor. Big miss to not get the deal with the Devil Precedent, but we don't have control over that. So we can sit and we can cry about it, or we can, you know, go home and, uh, and, and, uh, hard carry in, in Dota. You know, that's what they say is, you know... Losers try, winners go home and fuck the prom queen. But no, that's we we live in 2015 now. Losers go home and hard carry as juggernaut against a, a Ricky that got fed in the first couple of minutes. I don't play Dota anymore, so I don't know what I'm talking about. We may actually die here. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We can do it. We might not be able to do it. Uh, I'm increasingly realizing that our odds of doing it are maybe going down a little bit. Uh, don't walk on the spikes, thank you. That's uh, positive. In my defense, I'm not sure what I was supposed to do to make that room any easier on myself. Um, admittedly, taking three hits is probably a little bit on the, the upper end of where you tolerate bullshit, I guess. Like, uh, I probably should not have taken four hits there, but I did. And 
we're still alive. We fucked our deal with the Devil Chance. We got Odd Mushroom, though, and actually, Skinny Odd Mushroom is one of the better uh, Secret Room items, absolutely, and it's definitely one of the better Secret Room items when we need to have more shots on the screen. Really gonna raise our DPS. Each shot is gonna do less damage, but we're so much more likely to hit a disproportionately higher amount of times. This is a, a no-brainer. Easy selection, very happy to have it. We didn't know what it was, so it definitely, it could have fucked us harder than it did. It didn't fuck us at all. If it did, it did it in a nice way that everybody can feel good about. There's no lingering weirdness or anything like that. It's more like, hey, that was a nice experience. And I'm happy to have had it in my life. Um, now, Peeper's Eye, don't make this weird, okay? We're just gonna stand. And we're gonna stand so we never hit the nub or the ooze and just make sure he lives forever. Uh, Death's Touch, this is an unbelievably good item with uh with tiny planet it is one of the the marquee items with tiny planet now i'm a little scared about fighting the boss right away pestilence shouldn't be that bad especially actually a champion pestilence is basically a godsend at this point because the bombs are the only thing that would really scare me they also do double damage as a, as uh compared to the tears so this is a huge pickup for us and you know what i'm very happy with the way this has gone we should explore a little bit the orbital's nice. It's not a huge get, obviously, but it's nice. And uh, the big thing is that we still have 2020, so we should really make an effort to look for a second secret room. And not really enough bombs to to look for our uh, mushroom, you know, a one up or something like. Not a one up. Uh, uh, magic mushroom. Sorry, I was getting distracted by the floor layout here. I was like, we could be out of here right now. I could leave, but. There might be HP, like a, an actual HP upgrade on our um, on our second secret room. And beyond that, you know, we might pick up uh, enough money to make our shop worthwhile or something like that. There's our second secret room, so we're not going to be too far behind Boss Rush. This floor, despite the fact that we nearly died, has saved us. It has saved us from Oblivion, basically. And you know what? If I can actually uh, get enough money, I won't get enough money to get a the item there, but we'll buy the Spirit Heart in any case to keep ourselves going here, and hopefully when we crack this, we'll get something of value, and I would say that is value right there. Okay, this is good. I wouldn't hold out too much hope for Boss Rush, but you know, now we actually have our bets hedged, which I think is a good thing. I don't know, I've never been a gardener and or a professional gambler a la Matt Damon in Rounders, or John Malkovich in Rounders for that matter, but um... Or, or um, John Torturo, who was also in Rounders, but you you may know him better as the butler in Mr. Deeds, or perhaps as the Jesus in The Big Lebowski. I've never occupied the roles that they've occupied in the, the film for theaters known as Rounders. Um, but, I think hedging your bets is a good thing. Now, if we fight Krampus and Tiny Planet shows up, or not Tiny Planet, Love of Coal, we're actually going to be stoked, because that's going to be a big benefit for us. So, we'll go to our Cursed Room. It's a little risky. Lemon Party and Explosive Diarrhea. We'll keep our judgment. And uh, just keep moving on here. Curse of the Lost does mean that as soon as I find the item room in the boss fight, I'm probably out of this floor. Don't really care too much about the shop. We spent our money on the last floor. Already found our first secret room. There's our item room. Fantastic. Yeah, triple shot. Uh, it's going to lower our rate of fire, which might be bad. But does it lower our rate of fire by more than... Uh, okay, this is a very weird sentence to say, mathematically speaking. Does it cut our rate of fire to less than a third of what it was before? Because if it doesn't, then we're still shooting more. Because we're shooting three shots, maybe half as often. But three shots half as often is still more than we were doing before. Speed up is good. I'm not even going to talk about the tears down pill. It's very disappointing. You can probably tell that for yourself. Uh, no bombs here, so we probably won't be accessing that tinted rock. However... The Hollow was an easy fight. We get enough money for sure to enjoy our shop if we wanted to go to it, but uh, I don't know where it is. We might have some time. And then we get another three red chests. Lovely. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. Is this one of those niche situations in which we could... Th oh, Judgment. Why couldn't you be a regular Judgment? We could still do this, but... I thought if I re-roll a regular Judgment, it will turn our item into a, a Deal with the Devil item. Okay, uh, I don't want that. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Keep one red heart for uh, deals with the devil. And we got a guppy item. I think I'm just going to bolt to the next floor, honestly. And, and keep ourselves ahead of the curve as far as uh, like boss rush goes. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So we skipped our shop on that floor. We have our money for this floor, though. And Curse of the Maze, a much less deleterious curse. Uh, 
as far as actually knowing where to go goes. As long as we can see our map, I consider that pretty okay. I still don't think we have deal with the devil precedent because we got... Ah, it's a weird situation, isn't it? I'm going to assume that we don't have deal with the devil precedent because we literally, on a literal level, did not pay HP for our item. We didn't trade HP for our item. We traded HP to the demon judgment who then gave us, you know, little tokens that we could take to the cashier across the street and then she gave us an item. You know, it's the pachinko situation. Um, but, oh, we can get into our curse room for free. Uh, so I'm assuming that that does not count as precedent, which is unfortunate for us, but understandable, you know, given the mechanics that govern that kind of stuff. We, uh, to be honest with you, don't really need a deal with the devil in order to win this run now. Uh, we already have what we need because we have Death's Touch, which is a deal with the devil item anyway. So we, you know, why buy the deal when you can get the devil for free is what I've always said. Uh, one speed down doesn't hurt us too much because we just got two speed ups on the last floor. Probably don't stand in the way that I stood there. That will cause you less problems than it caused me. That is not a second guppy item. It's explosive diarrhea for the 300th time. And also a speed upgrade, which again, I am positive about. Because speed is a surprisingly, deceptively important stat. Now, get ready to go. We got a golden key. Yeah, we, we would much prefer to have Liberty Cap. Thank you for asking. Blue Baby Soul is like, it's better than literally having nothing. And if I say literally again on this floor, you can digitally chide me as a result of my uh, vernacular consistency. But in a bad way. I don't know what I'm talking about. A deal with the angel now, which I will not be able to blow up, which is extremely unfortunate. But hey, Trinity Shield. I'm going to reroll the HP, and we turn it into a better version of HP, so that's Magic Mush, which is awesome. Trinity Shield is not that awesome for us, but it's as awesome as it ever is, which is pretty okay, I guess, all things considered. It's not a, it's not an enormous coup, nor is it a, a real problem. And we don't have to deal with the Angel Precedent either, so this run, we're really, like, flying by the seat of our pants. Yeah, I, I like that, actually. We, uh... No guppy item there, but that's okay. We got uh, a battery charge and then rerolled the jar into the 9 volt, which has now created a situation in which we have the 9 volt, but also uh, another readily available reroll. And we'll head down to the next floor. And honestly, this is feeling like a really fast win at this point. And it, we got there really quickly. It, it's entirely like Skinny Odd Mushroom and Death's Touch. Were it not for those, in particular, obviously Death's Touch, but I want to give some respect to Skinny Odd Mushroom because it came out of nowhere for us. Um, Without these items, we would have found ourselves in a very, very tricky position. Instead, honestly, it's feeling pretty easy right now. And that Joker card actually does exactly what we need to do, which is A, give us a deal with the devil, but B, also teleport out of the, uh, oh man, teleport out of the uh, boss trap fight. Now, we can't go back outside of the, like, the boss room, devil room construct, so we're going to have to... Make sure we go to our item room, our shop if we want to. Shielded tiers here I think are pretty good, although they do make our hitbox smaller and also, you know, change our, our tiers into not so cool looking tiers, but they're still functional. Um, and there's our second secret room, so, you know, this has been very, very fast. This has been an ex oh man, another set of explosive diarrheas, but this has been from like, I don't think we're going to make boss rush to we're definitely going to be able to do boss rush. Over the course of like nine minutes. I mean, we left the uh, we left the basement two at about seven and a half minutes. So it's only been nine minutes since then. Uh, during that time, we've done five floors, which is is pretty. If I'm being honest, it's pretty silly. That's an extremely fast turnaround, especially considering uh, the item that we have, the defining item we have. Tiny Planet normally is not gonna you know do you clean like that. If something can do you dirty, this is doing us clean right now. There's no question about that. There is. Liberty Cap telling us where we need to go. I would still love more damage, because with Tiny Planet, you really want to hit something like twice and kill it. The longer you have to, the more times you have to hit it, the more chances you have to take damage. Which is true with every item, but kind of, or every, like, loadout, but doubly true with this. Like I said, I'm not really going to worry about going to our, um, going to our shop with only two cents left. But definitely, if we can do, uh... If we can get out of Boss Rush, I'd love to. If the Boss Rush item is unbelievably good, I would do it. But uh, it would really have to be pretty impressive. Now, this is the best of both worlds. Oh, we don't even know what it's going to be. E. coli. That was, like, not really worth it. But we get to deal with the Angel item. And it's freaking Godhead! 
Wow! Okay, well, we have no reason at all not to kill the Angel Statue now. This is uh, an unbelievably good turn of events. You know what? We should try to fight Mega Satan, just because we can. And I wonder if maybe... I was like, give me something in here, but I guess not. That's all right. Uh, this is now the, 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 the you know, Lothingo's uh, chosen run. I had to think back 18 minutes ago. What was the name of the god I selected? All right, Lothingo. You might say Lothingo is a stupid name for a god. You know what? Fuck you, man. How would you know what a god's name is going to be like? What's a good name for a god? Freaking Tony or something? Antonio? I don't know why it has to be something with, with uh, Tony in it, but... It's because I'm, I'm so used to saying, Fudge you, Tony. And that seems like if you were a benevolent god, you'd hear that a lot. People would be always telling you to fudge yourself and then apologizing for it later. Excuse me? I was going to say, how did you not die there? Oh my god, you're going to give me the cancer trinket along with this? I don't even... It doesn't even feel like we're firing that much faster. But it's also extremely irrelevant because this is unbelievable. This is, these are those runs where people say, why can't I get luck like that? And I can't even be like, well, you know, do your, do your P-test to see if, uh, P-test might be something different depending on where you go. But statistics, you know, it's like, is this statistically significant? And, you know, I, I, whatever. It caused me to take damage, see if I care. Um, this time, I kind of just had to throw myself on the altar of, of luck and be like, you know what? This is absurd luck. I don't know, I don't know what I've done to deserve it, but I'm very thankful for it. That's a lot of spirit hearts, and uh, we can't even take them. I don't even want that. What do we need that for, right? Nothing to do there. So this will give us our ability to fight Mega Satan, unless maybe because I skipped that other statue. Nope, no, no, it's not going to be a problem. Sweet. Down to the next floor. Hopefully Liberty Cap will sort us out. This run's going to be done in like 22 minutes, which is really fast. That is a, That is not a slow run. And there's like a little like of a Monty Hall problem sort of thing going on where uh, if you find a secret room, it's best to change directions. I don't know I don't know if that's actually mathematically sound, but whenever I find a secret room, I do like to deviate and I feel like it gives me a better chance. But I, I might be talking out of my ass. I have no idea. You know, I've never done any rigorous statistical analysis. I haven't had my own pee tested. Not since I was in college anyway. Hi all! <laughs> Uh, I just had a urinary tract infection. It wasn't anything special. As I'm making up, the, the mythos is going too deep now. This is a joke that I've constructed my own historical narrative for. I've never had a urinary tract infection that I know of. I, and I say that I know of, not because I was, like, under the influence or something, but rather because maybe I had one when I was, like, two and I don't remember. That's like, you don't want to remember that sort of stuff, probably. I wouldn't know because I've never had one that I can remember. So, uh, we will check out our double key room here. That is a two. We will re-roll this individual penny into a red heart. What a colossal uh, turn of events here. The TSN turning point for this run, without a doubt. 22 minutes, by the way. A little ambitious. I'm thinking maybe we're more in the 25 range, which is still pretty good, considering we took Tiny Planet before we got the stuff that actually made Tiny Planet good. This is why I always... Uh, I don't even think this will pay out with anything, but this is why I always take the opportunity to... Or often, not always, but often take the opportunity to go weird with my items just because if you manage to make it happen, it can be pretty slick. Alright, let's keep the map up just in case uh, Liberty Cap does give us an out. We still definitely have the ability to see what our items are. Well, not see necessarily, but we'll open our items on the chest. We might have Curse of the Blind, which would preclude us from seeing what they are, but uh, then we could... Uh, choose to take them or not take them. I'm really liking... Oh, that could be a Yara. It is a Yara! And then they're gonna eat me! Oh my god! That was not a joke in reference to that, but just in reference that my voice sounded like that That poor actor who is almost certainly doing something else now. But, you know, more. It's that's hard, man. More power to you. I thought you did a pretty good job. You should have played... Uh, the child's name. Is it Joshua? I've forgotten. What are you going to do to me, Dad? I'm tightening in my belt. That way I can't feel hunger pangs. I suggest you do the same. As This is all... It's Troll 2. It's Goblin backwards. Most people don't know that. Um, no small rock. That's like the one lingering sadness on this run. Yes, I know we didn't pick up the spirit heart. It's okay. Live a little bit, man. Live a little bit of your life to me. 
Throw your life in the garbage can, set it on fire, and then throw it down the gorge. So many callbacks. I gotta get them pushed in here, because we're 22 minutes into the run, and we're already headed down uh, to the freaking chest to fight Mega Satan in like two seconds. It is Curse of the Blind. Ah! Oh, okay, I still got I still got seven. Tech point five is great. Little Steven is not very good. Teleport is worthless. Bum friend is worthless. The mind is... Fine, but not really. Tech 2 is actually awful for us. And Isaac's Tears. Well, at least we get two rerolls. Why is Tech 2 terrible? Because we've drastically lowered our damage as a result. But then we raised it with Cricket's Head, so all is forgiven. Now, admittedly, we do get the two laser beams, which is going to be pretty good, and they're going to home in as well, but uh, it, this this is going to now look cooler than it's actually going to be in terms of the, uh, the damage out, output, I think. I would expect to have entered the first phase of the the Godhead, you know, clear the enemies shit now, but uh, I think our damage has has really fallen as a result of this. Just I, I feel very miscalibrated. It's weird because I okay, if our damage was cut by thirty three percent and then doubled, you would still expect us to be doing an appreciable amount more than we used to be doing. But I don't know if that's indeed the case here. Oh, because you know what? We already had one damage multiplier uh, from Magic Mushroom, so Cricket's Head didn't actually function as a damage multiplier for us. I gotta admit, I'm really proud of myself for actually sussing out the reasoning behind why this run uh, isn't stronger than it was a floor ago. But I gotta admit, these figure-eight lasers do look pretty darn cool. We're still gonna win no problem, and I guess if we're gonna win no problem, it's all about the style. And, you know, we, we got uh, some serious style points with our uh, with our pickups here. So I'm for it, is what I'm trying to say. And we're definitely going to be sub-25, which is incredible. And we stand, like, pretty much literally no chance of of dying here. So I kind of feel like, why wouldn't we just stand in here? And all of our laser beams are making sure to get the job done. Our shielded tears are blocking a lot of the fire. We have orbitals. We have trinity shields. So we probably should have been facing in the other direction. But it turns out not to matter. That was, like, record time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.